Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at a very fun deck. I'm not sure if it's very competitive. I'm sure it can be changed a little bit to make it kind of competitive. Um, but it's basically the theme here is a death rattle theme uh, and just a bunch of legendaries. So you can see we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven legendaries. Um, you can see the list right here on our side. Um, and as we play through it, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about the cards that we chose and why we chose them. It's a very late game deck. It's pretty powerful, I guess. Soon as we lock, so we want to keep a fast hand. So, you want loop orders, zombie chows, undertakers. That's a pretty good hand. It's a little awkward of a hand. Well, we didn't put only one drop, so. The other idea is we could have held back. Okay, so he's playing hand block. So we mulligan for. Okay. Yeah, that's hand block for sure. So. Didn't expect to see that, but this is good because um, if he plays Twilight Drake, at least we'll be able to answer. Well, this will be an interesting game. Because Handlock is a deck that goes bigger than what, whatever we want to do. So, we will see. Let's see what his turn 4 is. If it's Mountain Giant, then we are in trouble. <clears throat> okay, Twilight Drake worked out in our favor. He's wasting a lot of cards. That tells me he doesn't have Mountain Giant, Giant in hand. Because if he did, why would you waste the hand? Man? Here's Farsight. This is not necessarily a good card. It's actually a pretty poor cool card. Um, and I probably would take that out to put in a um, uh, maybe a Mana Tide Totem. But I think Farsight, because a lot of the cards in the spec cost a lot to play. It's a it's an option. We have See Okay, let's trade three cards for us right now, which is not good, but <clears throat> we're okay. We just want to get it to the end game, like to turn 9 or 10, when we have Keltazad, Sylvanas, Cairn. Interesting moral pose, that yeah, cool. I'm going to play Baron out, because I want him to fear the legendaries that come out. I want him to look at it and say, I don't know what this guy's doing, I don't know what his game plan is, but I need to deal with Baron now. So, okay, we got lucky, here's a, we have the Earthshock target. So, oh, interesting place. Okay. Not the mana for it, so. Um, Earthshock. Okay, now here's the thing. If I put him at 15 life, because I play this, um, 
What does that do for me? That means he has eight mana. He can play one Molten Giant and taunt it. As opposed to keeping at eight life, that means he cannot play a Molten Giant. So I think that's what we're going to do instead. So because because he plays, he'll have to spend eight mana to cast Molten Giant. So. Okay, so we play Mountain Giant. That's cool. And here we're just gonna make quality plays. Get that. Oh, I'm so dumb. I could have got a double death rattle. Yeah, that's fine. I have no time for games. Oh, that was a mistake on my part. So that's, we have two of these in the deck, Reincarnates. You usually want to save that for, oh, there's a Faceless, that's a big Faceless. Oh, wow, what's the play? Shields up. Shields up. Oh, he's just getting desperate. I don't know why he didn't Faceless uh, Sylvanas. I find that kind of weird. I don't want to overcommit here. I don't know if he's going to the Let none survive. So we're good because if he goes double, well, no matter what he does, he's dead. So pretty cool, pretty fun deck here, All right? That opening turn didn't work out well for him because we got the earth shots for his stuffs. So, yeah, um, boom. I remember this is only rank 19, but this guy's playing handlock. That looks like a typical handlock list, but he just got this bad luck. Early. So, that was pretty cool. If you challenge a lot of hunters, this is probably not the best deck to play versus them, because we don't have Feral Spirit, we don't have Harrison Jones. Those are probably cards you want in that matchup versus Hunter. But um, as you can see, it does hold its own. Let's see what we got. We'll do one more game for the video. Kaladin, this should be interesting because they have equality. So they can really keep us back on stuff. Reincarnate is not a card you want early because you want to save this for turn 8 or something. So we're going to dump everything except for the Earth Shock. This is not much better. But one thing about Shamans, they have so much removal. Uh, and the removal is so tempo efficient. Like, you know, Hex, uh, Earth Shock. Like, you really want to see those early. And you really want a full complement of all those cards in your deck. But the problem becomes, you know, you end up with turns like this where there's just nothing you can play. There's nothing you can do. You don't want to play any of these on an empty board. So, so we're just going to have to go with the Golden Throw. Well golden Throw. Greetings, friend. Okay, well, Zombie Child has a play. <laughs> I could have played a totem there, but Zombie Child puts damage on the board. So the benefit is that you could say that the totem would have been a waste of play early. And at least Zombie Child has the ability to fight for board position. So now I got two creatures on the board. That means my opponent's going to have to use two things to kind of negate my advantage here on the board. I don't care about damage with this guy. He is just buying me turns till turn 8. Reporting you know, for and then we'll see what happens there. Very interesting position here. I'm, I'm going to take this position, actually. Bring out your so. dead. Maybe, that, maybe I overplayed this because I kind of played this into... Uh, uh, what is that thing called? I thank you. Uh, into Consecrate, but he's not going to kill this Undertaker, so. And I'll be able to draw, so. This is Control Paladin. You can see he's using Hero Power, not putting anything on the board. 
just consecrate as we expected. He still has a coin, but he's not going to be able to deal with this, so. It's good for us. Blue quarter, nice. Oh, what is he going? All right, so the secret is obviously noble, so we're going to just pass the turn. I don't want to give up my Undertaker into a noble sacrifice, so. That would bait it out. Now, there is a situation here. And the situation is that our opponent can go equal quality, consecrate combo. I would argue to say that that's something we want to see. We want to bait that out early, so that's fine. Because we don't have any of our late game threats yet, so. These, this small death rattle theme in the beginning, it really allows you to keep board presence and tempo. Oh, what's this? Drew a card, three damage. Hmm, what was the card? What could he have played? Hmm. Alright, so he's going to pass the turn. Now, I'm going to go ahead and trade here because if there's a consecrate or whatever, it's not going to matter. So, but this. Hmm. I think we gotta force the issues so We're gonna go and do this with the foul. Not much left to worry about. Keep him on the back foot, and let's see if we can force a quality consecrate. That's what we wanna do. We just wanna force it out of him, so. And he needs to play that now, because like if we top deck Kelfazad or anything, he's gonna be. Uh, He's gonna have a problem. Many gold things are on this board right now. So, pretty fun. Pretty fun if you have got gold cards, right? This is twelve. This is this is lethal. He needs to do it. He needs to lay on hands or something. Let me think. So. Follow the rules. That's one. That's one way to deal with it, I guess. There we go. Interesting. That might not be enough for our opponent. All right, that's cool. This is a situation where I'm gonna go ahead and give him death rattle. Might have actually been a bad play because I don't know. Yeah, that's a good play. Well played. Well played. Let me. So yeah, this is your assurance against things like flame strike, equality, resilient threats. So there's equality. There's the avenging wrath. Yeah, but unfortunately for our opponent, it doesn't work the way he thinks it works. So everything gets good first before the death rattles take your place. Yeah. Yeah, we got two cairns to do with. There's no answer. So, pretty fun deck, right? You can see once you reach the point, once you reach past five or six mana, that you're just drawing into threat after threat. So pretty fun. Um, 
Let me show you the deck list one more time. Earth Shocks, Undertaker, Zombie Childs, one Ancestral Spirit, two Reincarnates, Blood Mage, one Haunted Creeper, two Loot Hoarder, a Farsight, two Hex, two Lightning Storm, two Golems, Baron, Fugan, two Sludge Belchers, Stalag, Cairn, Fire Elementals, Sylvanas, and Kel'Thuzad. So just heavy, heavy, like, quality creatures at the end. 